Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will create a ring with a horse head design. Yes, it's a horse in case you didn't recognize it. Nomad Sculpt has been updated to version 1.83 and among the updates are a couple of features that I requested from the developer and I'm really pleased about that. I will provide some commentary as we go along if you don't mind. So let's get to work. First, let's delete the basic sphere and add a cylinder with a 23 mm diameter. In the cylinder settings, we'll enable the hole option. As I asked the developer for, we can now input the hole size in world units. Previously, this value was relative, but now it's a world value. Let's input 18.2, which equals 18 mm in diameter. For the width, we'll set it to 6 mm. In the cylinder parameters, I will configure its topology. I want to add inscriptions to the ring. For this, I will use the help of a third-party site, but you can do it the way you want. You can also do horizontal lettering in Procreate, but I decided to try it this way. That would immediately make the letters on the circumference in Procreate, I think, so does not know how. There are not so many fonts. I chose this one. I add to the scene plane with high resolution. I take a brush mask, import the image with the inscription, change the brush settings uh, and try to make an even inscription. I mask these lines. I don't need them. Next you need to make an extract for the inscription. And here is another thing I asked for. It is the thickness of the extract. Now it corresponds to the world values, which means that the value 0.8 is really the thickness I need and not the ratio as it was before. Positioning the lettering. I don't like the way the letters are positioned. I separate them by clicking separate. Now I can position them individually. I need to move the inscription so that it fits into the ring by half. Let's make the same inscription on the opposite side. I don't like the width, so I decided to make the ring wider. I cut the inscriptions in the ring with the boolean command. Great, I like it. I add a cylinder with a hole and adjust its parameters. With this cylinder, I can cut grooves with a depth of about 0.4 millimeters. I move it to the side and mirror another one. There will be two grooves in the center. At this point I clone the ring. I cut with the boolean command. Then using tube, I make a tread pattern. I add a radial repeater. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure that the width of the groove was not less than 0.2 millimeters. Still working on the tread pattern. I mirror the other side. Cut grooves in the ring with the boolean command. Basically, at this stage, it is already a full-fledged ring, but I think it is still prettier with a horse's head. On the ring we cloned earlier, I used the mask to start wishing for a horse's head. There will be fewer comments further down the line. Basically, I'm just trying to make a horse's head I've never made a horse before and at first it looks funny and ridiculous. Here I'm trying to create shape and volume, it still looks funny.
On my computer screen, I have a selection of horse head refers open, but I still have a hard time understanding the shapes. But without refers, it would be impossible for me to do it at all. At this point I decided to work on the horse's mane and take my mind off the head a bit.
At this point, I add a 0.8 diameter cylinder. These will be the pins. The ring is ready. Next, I'm customizing the render. Thank you so much for joining me in this video. I hope you found it helpful and inspiring. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more exciting tutorials and creative journeys. Stay tuned for more amazing content, and until next time, happy sculpting!